guys, welcome back for another edition of All Things Vape. I'm Jason, and tonight we have a, another e juice review for you guys. I just got done with the Samurai Man by Entourage or Sengoku Vapors. It was horrible. Go ahead and check out that um, review if you'd like. So, now we're going to be doing Butter Brew by Yami Vapors. I'm going to tell you guys where you can get this stuff, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. Um, I'm going to tell you guys what uh, nicotine level comes in. We're going to go through the bottle and then... Uh, it came with the box, but I've lost the box somewhere. So anyway, um, we'll just go go through the bottle. The bottle looks the same as the box does. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to go from there. All right, so Butter Brew by Yami Vapors. Where can you get it? You can get it at www.vaporedna.com. I'm going to put it at the bottom. Um, like I said, I will not be doing um, business with Vapor DNA on account that they're carrying that Samurai Man shit. And it was very cartoony. I didn't like it. Um, so they're on, they're on my list and I bought this one I bought the Samurai Man the Butter Brew and another one from Yami Vapor all at once so all three of these reviews are going to be from Vapor DNA but after these three are done I'll no longer be doing reviews for that I mean not only do reviews for the website but I'll no longer be buying liquid from them ever again whether it's for the purpose of review or personal consumption so, Butter Brew by Yami Vapors. Um, comes in a 100 milliliter. For some reason, it's 100 milliliter. Usually it's 60 or 120. This is 100, whatever. Okay, so there's the labeling. Again, I'm not too jazzed about the labeling on here. I mean, the, the background looks cool with the Japanese writing and the, and the foil, you know. But, again, we've got the cartoonish... This time it's anime. It's not as bad as a Samurai Man one was, but this one still is anime. And it's, you know, if anything, it'll attract... I mean, it, I don't know, really know who watches anime, but to me this would attract a teenager kid to it. And I don't like that at all. Not only do I not like little kids being um, attracted to it, I really don't like teenagers being attracted to it either. Just for simple fact, teenagers don't need to be vaping plain and simple um so anyway 100 milliliter bottle it just comes in zero three and six right there you got the yami vapor with the instagram of course and the butter brew and then you got your prop 65 and your warnings and your ingredients list and all that stuff barcode and all that okay chubby gorilla unicorn style bottle i do like the bottle on this one because the bottle. I don't like the labeling. The bottle is what I like because even though it's dark, it's, you can still see your, your liquid level in here. So I like that. Um, it's got a child resistant cap. You know, a child resistant cap. I like that. So we're going to go for a taste test on this. So, because I, I can't really smell it. I mean, through there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put a little bit on my finger like that. I'm going to rub it together and smell it. Okay. So the smell, um, I'm getting butterscotch. Um, more specifically, it tastes like butter rum lifesavers. If you guys have ever had the butter rum flavored lifesavers, that's exactly what it smells like. Uh, the website says it's a magical butterscotch and one bottle will not be enough unless you're an elf. Whatever the fuck that means, okay? So um, it's got a, like a paragraph. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just paraphrasing. It says it's a magical butterscotch, and one bottle will not be enough. And we'll, we'll see. This smells like it's got a lot of sweetener in it. Okay, so I'm going to do a taste test on this. Magical butterscotch. Okay, super sweet. I get the sweetener right off the bat, so this right here is going to be a coil killer, for sure. Coil killer. Um, the... The juice itself looks pretty clear. It's not um, hazy or anything like that. But that is sweet, sweet, sweet. And it does taste like butter rum lifesavers. And um, so that's what I'm expecting the vape to taste like. Um, this is super sweet. This will kill your coils. So, okay, so I'm using the same TFV8 for the tank on the same Alien 220 mod that I used on the Samurai Man just a little bit ago. Um, I'm, up, I'm doing these both in the same time. So... Um, I did go in and change out the cotton, and I burnt my coil. I did a dry burn on my coils, changed the cotton. Um, on the dripper side, we're going to be doing a 
by Armageddon Manufacturing, the Apocalypse RDA. He treated, love it. Um, and we're going to be using that on this mod too. It doesn't really match tonight, but I'm in a kind of a hurry, so um, I didn't really have time to change our batteries and all that shit. So anyway, so yeah, it comes in zero, three, and six. This is a, I believe this is a seventy thirty. I believe that's what they said it was a 70 30 100 milliliter bottle for 30 bucks i don't know why it's 30 dollars for a 100 or 100 milliliter bottle anyway 70 30 um liquid's pretty pretty clear brand new coil dry burn or brand new uh cotton dry burned uh coil so all that samurai man shits out and i went ahead and rinsed out all the glass and everything else so there's none of that left in here so we're gonna get straight up Butter Brew by Yami Vapors on this one. This is a new flavor from them. I think it's been out for a couple of weeks. Not very long. Um, so, that's one reason I want to do the review. Because not a whole lot of reviews for it yet. So, um, here we go. Oh, I'm going to be doing this at 70 watts. So, Okay, so on the inhale, I'm getting virtually nothing. Exhale, we're getting butter rum lifesavers, very, very super artificially super sweet. And when I say super sweet, I mean super sucralose low splendid sweet. This shit is, they've used so much of that sweetener, it, it's fucking horrible. It's bad. Um, mm hmm. Clouds up decent. I mean, it's not like awesome clouds. It's not, you know. The clouds up okay. The clouds up okay. But it's just too fucking sweet. This shit is fucking sweet. <coughs> no, mm -mm. no, I don't like this. This is this is a coil killer for sure. Too much sweetener. Not enough flavor. Mm -mm. It just comes through as straight up sweet as fuck butterscotch. And not in a good way, guys. Not in a good way. It's almost tasting burnt. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. No way. No fucking way. Mm -mm. That's not good. That no, no bueno. No good. And just like I said on the Samurai Man 1 uh, review... <laughs> I get to do it twice, twice, and I'm and I just so lucky. Um, but that's what you do when you commit to a channel. When you commit and you do tankers and drippers, you come across shit juice, you got to do them twice. So here we go. Looking real forward to this one. Anyway, here we go. Again, not much on the inhale. I can't do any more of that. Uh, not much on the inhale. Uh, exhale, you're getting straight up Splenda. Think of Splenda syrup, okay, with butter rum lifesavers. No, mm -mm. no good. I don't. I don't like this at all. At all. This is a coil killer. Would I buy this again? Fuck no. Would I buy the Samurai Man again? Fuck no. Um, will I vape the rest of this? No. This is, matter of fact, it's going to the same place. Um, no good. No good at all. Uh, 30 bucks is way too much for that. And like I say, just like with the Samurai Man review, this one is another shot in the dark. Um, no. It's, it's, it's fucking terrible. The labeling, I didn't like the little anime guy on it. I don't like that. Um, there's a difference between cartoonish for kids and cartoonish for adults. Okay. There's a difference. The, um, I mean, there's just a difference. You can, I mean, you know, you can tell there's, there's just a difference. I mean, like you, you saw that one, right? 
Okay, this one is by Bad Drips. This one is a rabid. This is the um, this is the cartoon on there. This no, no, this is an adult oriented cartoon here. This is an adult oriented illustration. This is not kid friendly at all. That thing, it's going to attract teenagers, older kids. No, I don't like that. The juice inside equally was bad. It sucked. I'll be having to change my cotton yet again on this and this um, before work tomorrow. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, that was fresh cotton, and it was fucking terrible. It's so sweet, it almost tastes burnt. That's how fast it's going to gunk your shit up if you buy this. It's going to gunk your coils up. And if you're running with alien pre-made alien coils that you spent good money on, um, or if you build your own coils, you took the time to build them, built your with your own wire, or whatever, you know, or you're using a uh, coil that goes inside of a uh, tank that's pre-made, like the little, you know, that comes inside the tank. Um, you're going to burn that shit up in record time with this juice. I don't like that. So not only are you spending 30 bucks for the juice, you're also going to be spending more money on coils because that will eat your fucking coils up bigger than shit. So stay away from it. Nope, no good. No good. Butter Brew by Yami Vapors. No. Not not a good experience. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with that. And until next time, vape on and vape safe. And we'll see.